There's more embarrassment for the Andrews government tonight over its trouble-plagued fleet of new metro trains. State political reporter Andrew Landers at Noble Park with the exclusive details. Andrew, another delay. Uh, yes, Pete, the government's spending $2.3 billion on 65 of these new trains and the Premier initially promised they'd be on the tracks at the end of 2018. Uh, that was pushed back to July this year, but we can tell you that deadline won't be met either. Discussions are still underway, but at this stage it's expected they won't be taking passengers until November or possibly even early next year. Uh, now, they're being built by the Evolution Rail Consortium, which is made up of Downer, Plenary Group and China's Changcheng Rail Company. If it doesn't deliver five trains by August, it will face a $150 million penalty. And now, nighttime services on the Pakenham line have been cancelled for the next three weeks to allow for uh, more testing of these trains. Uh, they're designed to carry 20% more passengers than the existing fleet and are supposed to run along the Dandenong Corridor at a time when we're being told to keep our distance. They'd likely be very useful to Metro at the moment, but as it stands, they'll be around two years late, and even by Melbourne's railway standards, that's a very bad delay. Pete? Andrew Lund reporting.